Welcome back to the final episode of the Ultimate Night series. Season 2 is making its way here, and you know what? Instead of doing a magic only series, we're going right into it. Ultimate Night Season 2 will be in 1.12, and we are going to have magic. We are going to have dragons. We're going to have wings. It's going to be an amazing, amazing series. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure that you are subscribed and notifications turned on so that you never miss a video. Now, here we are in the armory. Today's video is, by the way, just a tour of the things we have accomplished. We are in the armory where we have achieved all of the dragon scale armors look at them they are magnificent each of them put with their kind fire ice and lightning over there unfortunately the 1.12 version of the game does not have the ice dragon the uh, lightning dragon sorry but that's okay here are the three armor types of the uh, dragon stones so uh, that looks so good we've got all three of their designated weapons over here we have the vanilla armors so steel diamond and what is this called again netherite there you go and here are some more of the things that we've gotten so here's our diamond sword here is a egg i forgot what it was called it was the black ender dragon egg here's our first elytra we got our overpowered bow and apple <laughs> and the dragon head now here are some more armors that we have achieved look at all of this yeah this took quite some time there was actually a bug so i had to like get an older version of the update and reconfigure it it was just like a whole bunch of stuff so i could have gotten all of these and in that process i managed to get the skull which is a 2.5 percent drop rate so that was pretty hard some troll armor some more armors here the armors for this mod are magnificently made and just amazing over here we have some items of legend we were supposed to hatch this but you know what? We're going to do it in a 1.12 version just because I don't know what's happening. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we have some more weapons down here. Ice, lightning, and fire swords. The ghost sword, phantasma, I think it's called. The trident, which I never really use. A pillar. Tail. Here are three of the uh, little totems I got from my first ever run through of one of those, uh, I guess, out of nowhere buildings that are like in the dark forest. Up here. So much has changed in here. I used to live in here. I used to live here in episode three, which is when we came to this world. This is where I lived. This was actually a nice little cave home. You guys want to go check that out? All of the all the videos will be linked to the top right. It's a playlist, so you guys can go check them out. That was our little smithing area. Here is our recently crafted this thing. Here is a netherite scrap. Yeah, that's uh, that's weird. Um, a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Just it's just my sorted area of things. Here's our bodyguard who stays in that one corner. This is a creative uh, backup of the world, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, because um I had to just spawn into village just to show you guys what the world would have looked like. And as you get down here, here is my ender portal. Kind of whack. Here are some beds. Why did I have these beds? I can't even remember anymore. And as we come down this way, oh man, this is so heartbreaking. This was supposed to be an underground cafe. So that they could just come here and all of this would have been hollowed out. But I never really did it just because so much work. There were so many canceled projects in the series. The Dragon's Fire being one of the major ones, which I'll be doing in the next series 100%. Here's our first watchtower. It used to be a dirt pillar, right? It's nighttime. Like I was saying, here is a dirt pillar that turned into a watchtower. Now, I made sure I did this design almost exactly like the way it is now to two more towers out in the distance here is another home i built kind of a pointless home no one comes here but hey what are you gonna do right here's the entrance into the mines and well what was the mines at one point up here is the first house hey the first house i've ever built in minecraft my first actual home it took me hours and hours and hours to achieve, but it is my absolute favorite place to be. Why did you open that door so weird? Stay out there. No, you stay out there. Uh, my girlfriend helped me design a lot of the stuff in the interior. I did all the exterior for the houses and just a major build for them because I, I just love this area and I wanted to make it my own. So this is what the interior looks like. And if you come upstairs, there is supposed to be nothing now. Yeah, there's nothing now. So, yeah, dragon skulls. Um, what are you doing, man? Come on, man. So, this is what this area is. Next to it is just a little pond area. Yeah, that's a. It just looks nice, like a little park. And uh, this guy's been stuck in here since like the 1800s, and uh, he refuses to leave. So, that's all on him. Here's the first ever blue tree, I forgot what they were called, that we ever planted. Didn't want to cut it down, so I left it right there. Here is supposed to be our trophy house. 
never follow through on the idea. There's just some stuff in there and that's it. Here's another house. This is the trade hall, which is another amazing build that I love. I'm complimenting myself, but honestly, let me know what you guys think of the builds down below. Here's Tangerine, Art Kitty Cat. Once you get in here, we used to have the Pixies stored right here. They are no longer in here. Over here, we have what is wheat, some books. If you get upstairs, ta-da, villagers. These are my trader villagers. So this one has Sweeping Edge. This one has Feather Falling. This one has Mending for one. This one has Protection for, and this guy has never found a job in the 8,000 years he's been there. So yeah. They are just there for trade. I was supposed to do more villagers, but honestly, I kind of realized there's nothing else I needed. I was pretty overpowered right here. We have another house just testing out different design ideas, and I absolutely love how they came out. Another house up here. Man, this place. Wow, this there was a lot that it took for me to do all this. Like, wow, that, that's incredible. So yeah, that's what this building looks like up here. Over here is supposed to be the pub. <laughs> never really went through with this one. Don't know what he's doing. He's I don't know what this guy's doing. He's just being weird. There's a basement. And uh they all have wheat in them. I told my girlfriend to like use flowers, but she was like, no wheat. I was like, okay, wheat. Um, here's what the upstairs looks like. It's actually really cool upstairs. Yeah. Interior design is just not my thing. I can't even do the simplest of tasks when it comes to interior design. Now, if you guys remember this, if you have been watching, this was all water. And now it is all land. That's it. <laughs> now here's the task board that I did not do. I asked you guys for a lot of tasks and honestly, I just didn't do them. Um, for good reason, for good reason. I wanted to do them in the up, the up to date version. No, on, on the, the 1.12 version of the mod. Here's my first attempt at a pillar and uh, it's very suggestive building. This is the town meeting area and that's where I would sit and I guess they would just climb on stuff. Thanks guys, you're so disrespectful. Nothing else to really show in there. Oh, this guy's getting ready to spit. How you doing, little buddy? And here is another building I recently made. Absolutely love it. All of this is just a bunch of beds. That's that's literally it. There's a little foresty thing in the back. And we're into the town itself. The villager breeder house, which is actually turned on, but it's uh, acting up a lot. So um, that's why I made a creative uh, version of this, uh, of this world, which I'm on right now. And I'm um, just going to spawn in villagers, which I already did. So this is where the villagers would have funneled into once they were babies. They'll funnel straight in and travel through the tube all the way across to this building. And yeah, that's how they would appear here. Here is the tower I was talking about. One there and one down in that direction. Love it. No, this was my first attempt at a tower and it is horrid. But I have my enchanting stuff up there. Here's a little beer brewing area kind of thing for storage. I just thought it looked really cool and a nice little design. And it makes me feel warm inside looking at it. Here is our blacksmith's area. Now this, how many of you? This area just gives me such feels from back home. And uh, I really like it. It's a weird little square house I tried to do with these two. And um, honestly, it didn't come out that bad. Up there is where I enchant stuff. And uh, this is the this is the magic house I like to call it. Because there's no, no other magic going on. Hey man, here is another building, almost like the brewery, no, like the bar, it's, they're all hollow, this one's hollow, so, um, not really a need to show inside, but yeah, that's just a building here. Who is this guy right here? This is Mike Wysowski, I spelled his name wrong, and, um, he is our mascot now. He's a charged creeper that we created, and, um, I like him, using the, uh, lightning sword, of course. Let's, let's just push through here. What the heck? There's like a whole meeting. What are you guys doing here? I wanted them to like scatter around the town. They just don't care. This is where we come to to farm up some dyes. So you just hit the button wherever the heck the button is. Where is the button? Oh, no, this is the button. So you'd hit that and it would go crazy. Boom. Now it stopped and there's things in there. Probably such a botched tour, but it's not really a tour. Not yet yeah, is. But not really. Yeah, it is, but not really. Now, I started planting a forest over here. Kind of looked cool. Nothing else. There is the other watchtower hiding in the distance. And if we come on through here, hippogriffs. Oh, yep. The babies have grown. Hello, children. You are now adults. Congratulations. So, yeah. That's a little, like, rise in the area that I've made. There's a hole in there. And that's where I just went to get the final materials for the wall. 
which uh, it was very needed. Here's where we go and craft up all of our uh, Dragon Forge areas. It was supposed to be a proper Dragon Forge. Never got around to it. Definitely going to do it in the next series, though. So many more things going to happen in there, like a, like a water base. You guys wanted me to make that. I never got around to it. Like, I was just so lazy. But that's okay. That's okay. Plenty more to come in there. I just feel like they can be built better in another version where I have more things to work with and more time because there's more to do. And uh, there wasn't a rush to finish so many things. Because this series is 69 episodes alone. Yeah, did that on purpose. Now the last area is here. Waterside. This is the place to be. As you can see, all my babies are there. Look at them. They're just hanging out. Yeah, it's still rendering in. But all of the dragons tamed. These are all ice dragons up there. You can't really see them. But those are all ice dragons. These are fire dragons. This is a magnificent area. And I love it. Oh, man. I just love it. Now down here we have our hippocampus. If they are still in there. Let's go see. Yep, there they are, the two of them, just hanging out, doing their own thing. Yeah, that's that's really it. They're just chilling. Um, you can actually ride them into here and, I guess, do what you got to do. Fix them up and just let them back out. Uh, wanted to do a nice area for them, but not going to do that. Too much work. <laughs> yeah, I've been very lazy. Also, life has just been hitting me like a brick the past couple days. Well, weeks, months. So, that's that's also why. Here we have some chickens, which we were trying to get the egg to get uh, this guy, which we did. And the first egg we threw ever hatched into this one. So that was cool. No, the first egg we got was up from up there, and that's what we threw and got this one. So, yeah. Cool. There's some sheep that we used to uh, make beds so we can blow up the end. So we can get some netherite armor. This is one of my proudest homes. It's so relaxing. Like, look at that. It's kind of hard to see, but look at that. It is... I love it. I absolutely love this house. It's it's so warm and loving looking and I just it's just amazing and I love it, okay? Boom. There they are. The four ice dragons. That one being my favorite. I absolutely love it. And then here are the fire dragons. Here's three of them. These are this is my first fire dragon. And if, if we head around the back end uh, this way, there should be another one. Oh, there's a lightning dragon taking a nap. There's another fire dragon sitting back here somewhere. Uh, I don't know where the other fire... There it is. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so the green one is over there. You can kind of see his little nose. Ice dragons up there. And the lightning dragons, which look like four times as big, are sleeping here. You can only see the three now. But the last one is around the back. He's guarding. He's guarding this area, making sure his brethren don't get like attacked from behind. They're all just relaxing. You see his big head over there? Yeah. These are my children, and I love them all very, very much. Yeah, that is pretty much a tour of the things we've done. It's a small area, but it took so many, many years. Not really. It was, it's been, what, since September? I started this series, and it's already a new year. Honestly, it's been it's been amazing and I love it very very much. Let me know what you guys think of today's video. It is just a tour of the world. I wanted to show you guys what we've gone through in all this time. But that being said, I'll see all of you guys for season two. What the heck was that? For season two. Oh, that's just a little weird graphical bug. Of the Ultimate Night series. I'll see you guys then.